Do you have a problem with his comments, Max? Not at all. I loved Odell's comments. And what I see there is a guy trying not to throw his quarterback under the bus by name. You know, Odell, when, he, when he got that money, when he got that money, the question is, what kind of a teammate, what kind of a leader is he going to be? And I see a young man trying to take a leadership role. They're asking him. He's being asked about the Giants' season. Guys, they've been awful, and he's right. They don't throw the ball down the field, and we know why. Because their quarterback's not seeing the field. Not just the – you know, everyone's making excuses for Eli. On this show, we have guests on making excuses for Eli. For years, I did when the excuses were appropriate, when it really was the O-line, when the interceptions were a lot of times on the receivers. But what has become obvious this year – is that Eli has not been good. He's not seeing the field. He's not throwing the ball accurately. He, you call him punch drunk, Stephen A. I think there's something to that. I would say maybe not punch drunk, but it gets to the point where, uh, like, you're a shot fighter. Like, you don't want to take the shots anymore. Um, Eli is very tough, but right now he's not a good quarterback. And, and what also has come to light, guys, is he's only even looked low average because he has Odell Beckham Jr. When Odell's not on the field, he's just flat out terrible. So I see Odell Beckham pointing the finger where he talks about energy and heart because those are kind of generic rah-rah, let's go get him kind of football terms. Really, if you listen to what he's saying, he's saying, I don't want to throw my quarterback under the bus, but we have to be better. Yeah, but Max, he's just being too cute and not doing it. Everybody can read between the lines. Everybody knows exactly what he's doing. And that's why I do have a problem with it. I think it, come, I think it comes off as, well, at the very least, immature, at the worst, irresponsible with your teammates. Do you remember, oh, I don't know, about an hour ago at the top of the show, I asked a question. I said, is it offensive if it's true? And you both, Stephen A and Max, both said, well, yeah, 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 you can... Truth doesn't absolve you of being offensive, in right? In fairness to us, it is difficult to remember what you say sometimes. Well, sometimes. No, I'm remembering what you said. <laughs> Go ahead. Straight. I'll just mess with you. I'll just mess with you. Go ahead. Go but ahead. you said that, right? Go ahead. Go but ahead. you didn't say that. That's right. That's right. Well, we'll you can we'll, be offensive we'll, while being true. I did say that. Okay. Say that. Hold on now, Max. All right. Yep. Odell's right. You know, you're right, finally, because you you pointed out that you apologized for Eli for a long time. I think you were apologizing for Eli as recently as a few weeks ago. It wasn't until the beginning of the season that you started to see Eli is a problem. I've known Correct. anybody that's competed against Eli, fan of a team that competes against Eli, has known Eli is not great. He is a problem. But there's a difference between the truth and being offensive. Your job, my job, is to tell the truth. Odell's job is to catch the ball and help his team win. And I don't think these kind of comments, and look, he's throwing Eli under the bus, whether or not he says his name or not, helps the New York Giants win. And then beyond it, just really quickly, beyond the Eli factor here, I think there's a level of immaturity of these comments when it comes to the energy stuff. He is saying he has what it takes. His level of passion and energy, the way he operates, not just on the sidelines, but he talked about in this interview, and you can see more with Josina Anderson. He talks about the way he is when he steps off the field, the way it was in college where they all hung out together. And he says, now everybody goes home to their families. And he acts like all of that is a problem. It's being a pro. You're not a college player anymore. Be a pro. Oh, the energy okay. of your teammates on, isn't Max. the problem. Hold on, Max. I okay, got to tell you, Will, I got I to gotta question that. And here's the reason why. Yeah. I get where you're coming from, but what I agree with Max when he says that he was basically throwing Eli Manning under the bus without saying his name. He didn't personalize it, but he held everybody accountable. He talked about what the problems exist but with you, the Giants because they're not winning. Well, at some point in time, if you're in the media capital right. of the world, you just got paid $95 million. Everybody's looking at you. We know how electric you are. We're looking at Sterling. We're still looking at Sterling Shepard and Ingram and Sa uh, Saquon Barkley, and you're looking at these pieces, and you're saying, my God, they can't do anything okay, right. What's hear going you. on? So him saying that without mentioning any names, I don't think that's a bad thing. Okay, two things. Number sure. one, I think he answers that question. And then I'd like question. to respond because I have a of whole course. bunch of we stuff. Of course. I've been of taking course. notes. Of course. Okay, you got a pen? Yes, all right. I got uh, a pen. I've been writing down all the crazy stuff you need you're a laptop? saying. That's why you interrupted okay. us? Okay. Hold on. Uh, you, Go you, ahead, you, I promise you're going to get the rebuttal here. Wait, wait. He could have answered that question two ways. Number one, he could have said, yeah, and I think this would have been more correct. We don't have energy problems whether or not Eli is the problem, you know what we have? Execution and philosophy problems. It was the problem going into the season. We didn't invest in our offensive line. Not seriously. Nate Solder and a second-round pick aren't investing in the offensive line the way we needed to. We needed to actually protect the quarterback. But secondarily, if you're not going to go the philosophy and execution route, you don't go the throw everybody else under the bus route because it wasn't just Eli. When you say, my energy's right, if everybody acted like me 
we'd be winning. But he threw the rest of the team under the bus because he indicted their energy. He blatantly threw Eli under the bus, and then the rest of the team okay, and Stephen I'd like A, to respond. I think that's the problem like here. Okay, let's, let, let, go ahead, Max. Floor is yours. Okay, first, what you said about if it's if it's a true, can it be offensive? And it depends on the way you say it, and I don't think Odell said it. In fact, this way, by not using names, by leaving it open to interpretation, including, hey, maybe the coaching staff, whatever, we're just not getting it down the field, and by going to generic kind of energy football stuff, rah-rah stuff, in fact, he framed it in the least or in, in among the less offensive ways that you can frame that. So I don't think the truth is offensive here. In fact, here's more important to me. Um, he's he's right about the energy, guys. He's right. And mm. when he says things about and the passion and when he talks about the way it was in college versus the pros, he's not saying, hey, guys, we need to make it like college. He's being realistic. He's saying, look, I understand there's a difference now. But, and here's the key thing, and this is why he's right to point to the kind of passion. Odell Beckham Jr. is the best receiver in football. I know I can't prove it. I know he dropped the pass in the playoffs. But you talk to football people and say, who's the most talented? Who's the best route runner? All those things. Who would you like to have? I think most of them at this point will tell you Odell. We can debate that another day. Why right. is he as great as he is? Because every facet of his game has been honed through relentless work. And he does that work because he's passionate about the game. So when he sees guys who are lesser than, not just on their natural, abil on, natural ability, but because they haven't put in the kind of work with the kind of wait, passion wait, 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 he's put wait, 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 in, wait, wait, I got it. he I got has it. a right to but talk I got about a question. that. I got a question. Don't you find it a tad bit suspicious, though, that Odell Beckham Jr. said this after he got his money? But before he got his money, these are not the kind of things that came out of his mouth? No, I would say, in fact, Stephen A., that's also a good sign. He's saying, I got this money, and now I accept the mantle of leadership. 